half, my one, my soul, my pain in the ass. Stop talking. That's Spider-Man. Yeah. Mm. I'm just looking at your tits. So it's the 5th of November 2019. And we won! And we were crowned the perfect couple and the winners of MTV's True Love or True Lies. And we are. Yeah. And it's just like it's insane because going in as two girls and as like a gay couple like it's just kind of normal for yeah. us we don't we've never really put it out there that it's about being gay and i think the fact that like in today's society like two gay girls have won like the perfect couple is just amazing like we're going places and we're like moving forward you right there we just hope that like anyone who's struggling to come out or you know is like not sure of how they're feeling or just like needs any help with their sexuality like do talk about it with people like use things like this as like a kind of guide and or an inspiration i guess for you because it is amazing and everyone kind of has their own story everyone has their own struggles like yeah. and in life everyone's gonna have that regardless if it's sexuality like or anything around your own struggles that like, you can get through it like you gotta believe in yourself you've got to have someone there that can love you girl guy non-binary Anything, trans, yeah. Like what we've learned from the show is like normalising your relationship with yourself kind of like spreads that throughout everyone. Mm. You know, like... I don't think anyone in the house actually looked at it and gone, oh, they're a gay couple. Yeah. It was just pop and pee. Right. It was a bit of a bitch. <laughs> we have so many people to thank. Obviously, all the crew at MTV, thank you so, so much thank for this opportunity. Thank you, you made it what it was. Um, everyone at Lime, like for making the show and we spent obviously our time in the mansion with, with them as well. All of like the contestants and the other like people in the mansion, especially Mahatma and Timothy. Oh. <laughs> See right there. <laughs> especially Mahatma and Timothy, Jack and Eliza, we love you so much. And everyone that just kind of rooted from us. I know it was a rocky start for sure, but My for those people that believed in us, thank you so, so much. And we just can't wait for you to see kind of like what happens with our future with the money we want to have a family and it's not easy doing that being two girls and i think pregnant. we've just, we've tried we've absolutely tried <laughs> a lot you coming off this show i feel like it is a great platform to actually share this with people within this community within the lgbtq community if people would want to follow along or like go towards like wanting to know how we're going through it like I think we're we're kind of there to be able to share that with everyone around us as well. Right yeah, now. just amazing that like love can be celebrated without having to scream or shout about it. You know, like but you scream and shout like we're the perfect. <laughs> no, but what I mean is that the world is no, changing, yeah, right, no, and no, soon people aren't going to have to keep like you know proving themselves. Like we just did it so naturally, and it's just amazing. So we're so grateful. Um, Could have done it without you. Love you. Could have done it without everyone. And keep an eye on what is to come from us in the future. So, yeah. Thank you.